everybody welcome to my channel this is you two can be great i just woke up i should have washed the makeup off my face last night i was too damn tired i have a lot going on i'm currently writing my books okay if you want to know the ones that i've written before check out my book unleashed uh uh by idea by Zion, jeff that pepper by as Blaine, and sage by as Blaine. i put the links of uh, the information below in the um information box check it out if you're interested because I'm, I'm working on the rest of them but excuse me this is the Growing Up Hip Hop Atlanta season five episode, um, season four episode five, Battle of OGs review. But before I get into this, I do want y'all to know that I've already started doing reviews on Love After Lockup. I'm gonna be doing reviews on Basketball Wives. I'm gonna be doing reviews on the Salt Lake City reunion. They're doing three of them, and it seems like now that all the ladies have seen each other talking shit, they're gonna have a lot to say, and I can't wait. So I'm gonna review that too. I'm gonna review Love, um, Love and Hip Hop. I think they're doing some kind of reunion thing on Monday. I'm gonna watch that and review it because what they were doing before, I wasn't gonna. I'm not gonna review that shit. So I'm gonna review that one though. Love Family reunion. So I have several reviews coming up that I do intend to talk about. You guys check it out and hopefully you get the notification and whatnot. But let's get into it. So Diamond, last episode was flirting with Lily's son, Kyrie. Now, here's the thing. I have a feeling that Diamond, because I said in my last review, Diamond likes the attention that she gets, being that she hasn't really been on TV like that for a long time. I do feel like now that she's on the show, she's going to do whatever is necessary to stay on the show while she's putting out music, maybe to get herself back up there like she was before when she was fucking Soulja Boy. But in this situation, she was flirting with Kyrie. I heard Kyrie last episode say, hey, what you got going on? That was her opportunity to say, you know, I have a man or whatever she didn't. So here comes Pimpin acting a fool, going after the dude when Diamond was the one that made a mess. But Diamond is acting delusional. Like her ass didn't encourage this behavior. Like she didn't flirt back. Like he was the only one wondering about her 35 or 34 flavors. She also encouraged Kyrie because she wanted the reaction that she got. But now Pimpin's losing his mind and his whole Southern accent came out. He was like, I flipped your ass in here, boy. I was like, oh my God, where is this coming from? And then Bow Wow was asking the corner, talking about, you know, if my partner's out here getting into a fight, you know, we all fighting, you know, we, you're, not, you're not even going to see that coming. I'm like, shut the hell up. Y'all finna sit up here and jump this guy who's skinny as hell. You want to jump him? Kai looks like he's about to fight whoever the hell. He don't matter if you're the Hulk. He don't matter if you're the Rock. He don't matter if you're Hulk Hogan. He's going to fight you regardless. But to now th act like you're going to jump him because of Diamond's stupid ass behavior, flirting on purpose, knowing that Pimpin has a jealous nature. That's crazy to me. It's just, I was like, boy, it's just shut up and go on somewhere. Like, this is just dumb. I almost feel like either Bow is doing it because he just wants to get camera time. Because he acts like a child in my mind. I don't, I'm not going to change it. He acts like a child to me. Then we had everybody acting like Kai was crazy. Uh, Brat came in there, saw what happened, and was like, you know what? I'm not with this drama. She takes her boo, and she leaves. She's bomb. Now... Deb decides that she wants to talk to everybody at the uh, release party. Diamond, uh, Rejuvenation, Easy es daughter. No, her name's Remarkable. Remarkable. Buku. All these weird ass names people pick up. I don't know what makes her pick that name. Bree is not, Remarkable is not a, a, a rapper name that I graduate, that I think of easily. It's like I have all these different. Anyway, Bree's there. Buku's there. Um,. Who else did she want to put in there? She wanted to put Kyrie in there. Kyrie just came out of jail. And to be honest, I haven't heard anything from Kyrie. But she wants Kyrie to also be part of the situation. Then she wants, she, she mentioned that she wants the brat. But the brat has already left. And she wants Bow Wow to be part of this, including Pimpin. And she didn't mention Johnny Blaze. But she wants to recreate this We Are The World type video. Because y'all know there's different versions. There's the one that Michael Jackson did. And there's the one that Jamie Foxx did with the newer cast. With Miley Cyrus. And all of them there. And she wants to do the same thing. But talk about what's happening these days. Because now we've seen a major change happening. With everything that happened this past year. With COVID. With the elections. With politics. There is a huge shift in how society is going to be moving forward. So to talk about it in this time would be a great album to do i i would re, i would listen to the album i don't listen to have these rappers but i feel like i'm actually listening to this one if they do it but she brings it up it's a great idea 
but then they haven't really discussed the intricacies of it. So they're going to go ahead and discuss it later. But I'm thinking that because of all these different personalities, all these different egos, everybody thinking that they're better than everybody. Diamond feels like she's higher than, and you know, she's on this level, but maybe not as high as Debrat or Bao. Debrat feeling like she's this high up, but not, you know, and then you got Buku, who's R. Kelly's daughter, but she can't make her name just being for R. Kelly's daughter, especially because R. Kelly is now in prison for being a hoe and also doing some shit that allegedly makes him sound like a damn pedo. Then we have Re 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 not even try it. Who's Easy E's daughter? But Easy E's known for making music with Ice Cube and and other legends that we've heard of nowadays. She hasn't made a name for herself that we know of. So it's like all these egos coming together. I don't feel like this album is gonna come to fruition at all. I feel like it's gonna Deb's wasting her time because people don't know how to just put their pride aside and do what's necessary to get work done because this is would be a significant project. It will make a difference if they can just shut their mouths and do it. Then we got three Buku, Remarkable, and Shania meeting up at the sipping plant. And they're talking about COVID. In the middle of COVID, Remarkable decides to bring up Ayana, but she brings it up in the form of, you know, I, I heard Ayana had COVID-19. I hope she's doing well. That, sh that to me, that's bullshit. I don't feel like Remarkable really has any concern or care in the word about Ayana because the last time they spoke, there was beef. Remarkable tells us that they were on Twitter or whatever because social media seems to be the way that all these people get, get beef off of what people say on damn social media. Like, calm the fuck down. It ain't that serious. You can have your own opinion. It can be different from somebody else. But trying to fight somebody or having beef because of that is just childish and stupid to me. That's that's just the... It's crazy. But Remarkable explains it as if her and Brandon are now cool. Y'all remember Brandon from previous season? All Brandon did was lie through his teeth. Hell, Waka Flocka was about to beat his ass because of his last lies telling us that he wanted to be a firefighter. But we find out later on the show when they're talking to the chief and everything that he basically lied and he was ordering stuff off of Amazon and he was just making shit up. That's what that was. Remarkable is not privy to the amount of time that Brandon has spent around Deb's family for Deb and them to get as angry as they got with him because they felt like we already accepted you for who you are. Why are you lying to us? Remarkable now being cool with Brandon decides to fight his own battles and decide to attack Ayana for her personal feelings and her going going after Brandon on social media. It got nothing to do with her. She inserted her ass in a business that she had no my, you know she should have had no fucks to give for it and just be quiet be brandon's friend but don't get into this mess but while that's they're having this conversation Sh uh, shania ta talks about her beef with ayana as well and shania lets us know that she made some comment that was interpreted as the homophobic or you know uh, uh of uh homophobic type comment towards ayana and Amy saying that she thought Amy, they bleeped it out, but it's not like she thought Amy was going to be the dude in the relationship, but she said something like that. And uh, Ayana took offense to it. And so for months, they haven't spoken. So there's two beefs going on. I don't think that Shadia's beef is that legitimate because I think that Ayana needs to just understand that sometimes people who are not gay can be ignorant to how the circumstances and the atmosphere works out. Shania being her friend, I don't think that she said it to disrespect her. I think she was just genuinely ignorant. So to hold this anger towards her don't make sense to me. Remarkable, on the other hand, needs to shut the hell up because she get on my damn nerves. Then we got Deb meeting up with all the potential group members except for Bow and Brat. And mind you, she had yet to talk to Brat about the situation yet. But Remarkable is there. Diamond's there. Diamond and Pimpin are there. Kyrie's there. And then Pimpin already feels some type of way, but here's Kyrie sitting next to them, wanting all the smoke, because Kyrie seems like he's a wildfire. All he wants to do is fight whoever he wants to fight. He has a little bit of immaturity about himself, too. Even though he has a swag and his attitude and his personality, he's very charming. The way that I see it, but he's also very immature. But as this is going on, Johnny Blaze with her fine ass, her thick ass comes walking into the room with all that ass that could feed us all if we were on a plant on a on a on a deserted island somewhere. Johnny has a whole lot of booty. She has a beautiful face. She's talented. She has the body. She will need to get injections or fake body or fake everything some of these rappers do. She will need that. She already got it all. Now the problem is if she can just let her attitude catch up with the rest of her body, then she'll be great. But then she's now coming in here. She wants to now work on something that explores her talent, which I think is one of the best moves that Johnny has made in all four seasons that we've seen her is that she showed up to do something good. But, you know, Kyrie's already making a beeline like she thick, thick. Oh, my God. I just can't wait till I go ahead and tap that ass because Johnny's so fine. He's my immature as it is not even thinking about the fact that he's broke. He just came out of jail. He ain't got shit. Why don't you focus on what you need to be focusing on instead of looking for somebody's booty that you're going to hit next? You try Diamond, you almost got your ass, you know, got into a fight with Pimpin. Now you're about to go after uh, Johnny when Johnny's true recovering, trying to get her life together. Man, Kai, you better stop it. Knock it off. Then we got um, Diamond asking a question like, you know, 
what can you let us know about or oh, no pimpin asked the question can you let us know more about the project and deb made a comment like you just worry about being an artist and from my understanding i'm not an artist so i don't know the rules but it seems like that type of uh, of response is what you give somebody who's not basically experienced in the game because somebody who's new might take that bullshit but we know that a lot of this in this industry and stuff like that people get taken advantage of so for pimpin to ask that question is not illegitimate for him to do because he's thinking i'm finna be making money off this might as well let me know what i'm doing so i can realize so i can um figure out how much work and effort i'm supposed to be putting into this because i've been producing music specifically diamonds music lately because i gotta sign her i had just signed her split sheets not too long ago in addition to that diamond being an experienced artist herself also wanted to know what was happening, but Deb is not giving them anything. See, there's the thing. My only understanding about Deb is that Deb managed Waka. That's the only person I know that she managed, but Waka hasn't really been that big of an artist in a long time. He has his music that he did that still, you know, that music still claps. I mean, it's still good. But in recent times, I don't think Waka has made music like that. The only person I've heard of that made music like that is Tammy. Tammy had all these kisses that she did. That was a beautiful ass song. She has a beautiful ass voice. And there are other songs that she's put out. But Waka ain't making no music. And that's the last person I feel like Deb managed legitimately. So Deb, being that she got her name from Waka, is now sitting here trying to manage people who have the music outside of her. But she's not willing to give information. I feel like she should have had a different meeting with the newbies. Like Kai, Re, you know, Buku. She should have had a different meeting with them. And then she should have had a different meeting with the people that are a little bit more seasoned. Because it seems like you're treating these people who are seasoned the same way you're treating these new people. And in a way, there's egos about this shit. So I feel like she's already setting things up to go bad by not realizing how to handle the situation in the first place. Not to mention, she's still got to talk to the brat and figure out if she even wants to do this in the first place. Like, Deb is moving like somebody who's an amateur manager, from what I'm seeing. She's not moving like somebody who knows what she's doing. That's who, uh, Maybe she's out of practice. Who knows? Then we got... I'm going to skip the scene with Ayanna meeting up with Bao and his crew at the, bur at the what's it called, Burry Hatchet, where they were throwing shit, trying to talk about what's his name, birthday party, just so they can bring up Remarkable. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip that bullshit. The next thing we have, we had Diamond meeting up with the brat at the juice bar. Diamond already has a chip on her shoulder based on what Deb had told her at the meeting at the studio. So she's going to know, go now and discuss it with brat because she figures the brat will have the same opinion and they'll be of like mind. As she's doing that, the brat is getting like, I'm a legend. I don't even want to be, you know, I don't even want to be doing music with people that nobody ever heard of. They're going to be benefiting off of my name. What the hell am I going to get from them type shit? Now, I got mad when Reefer showed her face as Easy es daughter on the show and felt like she didn't have to audition with brat and dad to be part of the boot camp. And I thought that she needed to humble herself and understand that you take opportunity where it comes. From what I'm understanding, Brat, as much as I know that she has made music before and they play some of her music as a soundtrack while the show is going on and it sounded great, I have not heard Brat as a major performer, as a rapper. The person that I see right now that's blowing up are Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and Megan Thee Stallion. We have Mulatto. We have several other people. Uh, what's her name? So we, so we see, I mean, we have all of them that I'm seeing right now that are the current people that are on the radio. The brat is like, you know, to me, she's, she's way back when. And when I think of a legend, like an actual legend, I'm thinking of people that even kids will know nowadays. People still know who Michael Jackson is. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm thinking about as far as when you talk about legends, legends that may not want to you know put themselves in the same album as people who are new. The brat haven't been gone to jail. She got a pass. She was gone for a while. She came back. Her career hasn't been to the level that it was when she first started. Neither has Diamond. That's just what it is. So I don't think that her putting herself in the EP is going to sink her or, or put her lower than. Yes, this new people might benefit from your name. And Bow Wow hasn't put out anything new in years. Bow Wow is still doing concerts, but he's doing concerts based on music that he made in the past. I haven't seen anything like new, new. Uh, the only person that I know of that has done new music recently that I feel like I've seen is Omarion from people who were doing music way back then. We haven't seen Lil Romeo. We haven't seen um, Spectacular and his group. We haven't seen, you know, Mario. All those people that we were used to seeing back then, Lil Cam, Eve. We haven't seen any of them. Missy Elliott just recently did something. We haven't seen Sierra, you know, you know, do something like they used to in the past. Yeah, but we know that, you know, they were singers. The brat, I don't feel like, I feel like she needs to humble herself in this situation as well. I get it. People know the brat. People know Bow Wow. Some people know Diamonds. Some people know Pimpin. But I don't think that in this case, being that your ass is on growing up hip hop Atlanta, this is part of the hip hop game. 
you're there almost like this is dancing with the stars for former actors or former whatever celebrity you know people you need to go ahead and humble yourself and do this damn ep because it's a great idea that's what it is a great idea deb is just handling it inappropriately and it seems like diamond also feels the same way like she feels like you know i should know more because i feel like i've been putting music out but to be honest i haven't heard anything from diamond anything i've heard the last thing i heard from her is the drama she had with scrappy and soldier boy because she was recycling dicks between the two men i don't know anything else about her as it pertains to music so to me she's on the same boat as kai and it's not shade it's just that's just what it is now we got Reed, the brat, um, meeting up at the studio. At this time, Deb and the rest of people haven't show up yet. And so Reed's talking to the brat and saying, hey, you know, this could be another another opportunity for us to come together. For me, it seems like whenever black folk got something amazing to do, there's some situations where they get in their own way. It's not a matter of egos at this point. Y'all can put your little prize aside and y'all can make this EP because I want to hear it. You know, and from what I heard from Kai, as he was in the studio before Lily came to see him, he was talking about Johnny's booty. He seems like he has some, you know, he has a little something, something. He's not the best rapper I've ever heard, you know, but he's pretty good. He's not like a bad person to listen to. Buku, I haven't heard much of her voice or her singing is, you know, I haven't heard her like that. Ree said that she has some things that she's done. Everybody want to be a rapper these days. Her dad was a rapper. She wanted to follow in his footsteps. I feel like she wanted to do what her dad wanted to do because she didn't really know him that much, you know, or live with him as much because he died early on in life due to AIDS. Now, when we have uh, other people like uh, Kai and Johnny, Johnny hasn't really put anything out there as an artist because of all the situations that she's gone through. But if she's willing to put that aside, she has a beautiful voice and she's talented. So they do have talented people on the record, or, you know, about to do this EP. So it's not like people are just auto tune them and it's good. So I don't see why the brat is making such a big deal out of this. I feel like, girl, just do it. So Deb, Bao, and um, in addition to Diamond and Pimpin, and all of them end up showing up. And the brat starts immediately. She starts immediately on Deb talking about, you didn't even tell me what was happening. You just made the assumption I was going to be part of it. She has a point there because that would have been rude. If you want me to do something, at least talk to me about it. Don't just tell people I'm going to be part of it without even talking to me about it. That's respect. I get that part. But then she goes on now to talk about what I've been talking about. I'm a legend. I don't work with, I want to work with some of these people. I definitely don't want to work with Johnny because she's going to have my ass going back in jail with the way that she behaves. And Bow was just nodding, agreeing and everything, not even having a voice because he's agreeing because he don't want to work with all these people either because he feels like they're not up on the same par and on the same level as she is. The brat feels like if they're going to benefit from my name, they need to pay me for it. Girl. Girl. I love Brat. I like her as a person and I like her as an entertainer. But in this situation, I did not like how she handled herself. I just don't think that it's right. I think that when opportunity knocks at your door, girl, take advantage of it. And I think that this is opportunity. Take advantage of it. Because this is growing up hip hop. It's hip hop. Do something in hip hop and work with other hip hop people and call it a day. I do know that Ree feels like, you know, if Brat and Bow are on this record, it will help boost her career as well as Buku and all the other extra new people. They can say things like, I work with the Brat, I work with Bow Wow. Yes, it could, but y'all are getting older. You know, Brat, you're getting older. Is it so hard to use your name to help elevate another black person that's now in the position you were once at yourself? Is it so bad to do that for them? That way they can, you know, be successful, like lift each other up. I don't like why she, how she handled herself. And then Deb already got on the defense. And so she said that, you know, I hadn't heard anything from Diamond in a while. And Diamond was like, what you mean? What you been listening to? Well, bitch, I ain't heard about you. I didn't hear anything from you either, Diamond. Nobody has heard a lot about Diamond unless you go on iTunes and actively start searching for her. It's not like she's got the number one record or whatever the case nowadays is. So I haven't heard anything from Diamond in a while. Hell, not even on the radio. So I don't think that what Deb was saying was a dig to the point where she had to have an attitude, girl. You went on that level as you may have been way back when. People nowadays are ahead of you. Cardi B is charting right now. Nikki, we got Megan. We got um, Sweetie. I mean, we got, we got other people out here that are out here doing something that are on the radio. I haven't heard nothing from you, girl. It's cool. So I don't know why you acting so high. My, like, uh, I mean, they just rubbed me all the, just all rubbed me the wrong way. They did. So Brad gets mad at the meeting. Deb has an attitude. She gets up and she leaves. And that's how the episode ends. They show what's supposed to happen moving forward in this season. We already see that Bao has a baby that he probably had on a drunken night. But now he has to pay child support for 18 years for this damn baby. Good for you. Because you and his mom is talking to him like he's a dog. Like you need to get fixed. 
he does need to get fixed because he obviously can't control himself as a oh god he's so childlike it's hard to take him seriously then we got because i was watching it watching it right now my husband heard something about his said about um not wanting to do paintball that he doesn't do paintball my husband straight up looked up like who the fuck is that <laughs> like he was like who is this because it sounded just as stupid as his behavior is this what it is then we got um ayana and Ria are finally gonna meet each other face to face and they're gonna obviously act the fool because their little social media beef that is just ridiculous and stupid don't even be that serious is about to lead into an actual altercation now i understand that some people don't believe in violence I believe violence is necessary in certain situations, but a social media beef of somebody having a difference of opinion or a difference of opinion in general or somebody talking and saying how they feel and you're like, you talking shit, say it to my face. All that is not necessary. It's childish. It's like your ass is in high school, right? But on my love, and, on my love and lo after lockup review, you find out when one of the couples there, Christiana, I think, her sister Tara is, box is trying so hard to have sex with Christiana's husband while she's in jail. That's your sister's husband and she's trying to screw him in that situation. Violence is definitely justified because that sister needs her ass to be. Those situations are, di are specific and where you need to whoop somebody's ass in his arm. But this social media beef about having an opinion about Brandon whose ass is not even on the damn show anymore, it don't make no sense. But they're going to use it and they're going to talk about it and that's what's going to come up. And of course, this EP is going to come in Deb is probably going to want uh, Waka and Tammy to join in. It's going to be a hot ass mess. And we don't know if Kyrie is going to actually get to Don Johnny Blaze. And it seems like the brat and Johnny are also going to have beef again. So maybe Johnny's going to heal now because the brat, she fights. Y'all better check her record. She, she fights. So we don't know what's going to happen. But go ahead, like, subscribe, notification bell. Let me know what you think below. Comment below. I know the season's kind of slow, but hey, I'm going to keep reviewing it. I'm going to review tonight's uh, Love After Lockup. I'm going to review that show because that show is lit, okay? The drama there is, is too much. I'm going to, it's just, you got to watch it. I'm going to review World Houses of Atlanta. Like I said, Married to Medicine when it starts. Basketball Wives when it starts. I'm going to review the hell out of it. And the Love and Hip Hop Family Reunion coming up. I'm going to review the hell out of that too. And the Real Houses of Salt Lake City Reunion. I'm going to review the hell out of those as well. Go ahead and fix your notification if you're not getting it because it's going to be good. Anyway, have a good day. Bye.